if this is a personal thing, for me, I, I take two leg. Um, right. I actually stand more on leg stand, but I take two leg. <clears throat> Don't ask why. But um, yeah, so take two leg. Um, obviously, have a, have a look around the field. Uh, say to myself, you know, take one ball at a time, get through this first ball, and then th think about the next. Quite close, but then my front foot's a little bit open, and then I actually have a, have a trig trigger movement, which I go back and across, and then my, my front foot kind of tries to hover a bit, but um, more on my toes. So, so yeah, I, I, I like to, my back foot likes to end on, on off stump, so that so that will help me knowing where my off stump is, knowing which balls I can play and which balls I can leave. As I move, I move and try and keep as, as balanced and, and as still as I can as the ball's bowled. You know, you don't really want to be moving like that and then the ball re releases the ball because then you are prone to falling over, can get LB. Mm -hmm. So I think everyone's different. You know, you, you have your own ways. You, everyone, some people have trigger movements, some people don't. But at the end of the day, as long as you, as long as you still as the ball as the ball's bowled, that's one of the key things. I think it, it, it depends on the on the you know on the wicket. It depends on yeah the pace of the wicket, who's bowling, what field they've got. I mean, obviously you as a batter you're always looking to score. You know, sometimes there might be times where you know you, you don't need to score. You just want to you know get through the half an hour of batting and get to lunch. But first first ten minutes you're probably you know c kind of sizing up the situation. You know, is, it, is the ball swinging? Is it seaming? You know, if the ball's, if, the, if it is seeming, you've got to adjust. If it's, it, you, you've got to, you know, some people say to themselves, you know, I'm not going to drive for the next, you know, I'm going to get to 10 and then, and then I'll start playing a few more shots. But you but don't say that to yourself? Just depends. Sometimes I'll say, well, it is seeming a bit and, you know, I'm not really getting into it. So I'll say to myself, right, you're not going to drive now. Just leave, leave, leave. And then wait for a short wide one. Sometimes you won't get that. Sometimes you'll have to wait 50 balls. Mm -hmm. But if you're still in 50 balls, you've given yourself a chance. So that's important. So, yeah. It is. It depends on the situation. Sometimes you'll be 20 off 20 and, you know, you'll, you'll hit three cuts and go four. But yeah. sometimes, like I said, you'll be five or 50. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, it's better if you're in than yeah. playing a loose shot, drive and get out and you're in, and you're in the hut and, you, sure. and you, can't, you can't build on that. Yeah, it is. But, um, but so, so, like I said, some days it will be, you'll just feel, it will feel natural to you. Oh, I'm going to drive that. And you, you, but some days, you know, it's, it's seeming a bit and you, you're not really comfortable. So mm -hmm. it can be tough, but I think it's a, it's a big part of cricket these days is, is being mentally quite strong. So if you, can, if you can say to yourself, you know, I know what shots I'm going to play, what shots I'm, I'm not going to play, um, that will help you mm -hmm. knock it out. Normally, as, as a number three, you come into bat and there's not, there's, not a, there's not normally a cover. So you want that kind of back of length ball, just an off stump, you just drop it and run. Yeah. But you don't always get that, do you? So either that or the, you know, come a bit straight and you can just tuck it off your hips to fine leg and you get one or two. So those are the probably two shots that I'm thinking. You don't really want to be pre-meditating too much, but those, those two are probably, you know, I hope it comes there so that I can get off the mark, get down the other end and, and just watch the other, mm -hmm. the other batter face a few balls. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's quite important because you can, you can judge the pace of the wicket, you know, what's happening. You can just get used to the situation. I find that if you if you wait if you're waiting for the short ball, it's actually harder to get out the way of it. Um, so if you're kind of expecting just um, you know looking to you know forward and then react, that's it's easier to do that. And you know the way I play a, tri a trigger move might look that I'm expecting a short ball, but it's it's not one bit like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if you balance at the crease, then you then you'll be able to go forward. And if and if you're able to go forward, you're able to go back. And, and when you're facing someone like that, that pace, you, you're not really looking to take them on. Well, I'm not, certainly. I'm just looking to get out the way. And at the end of the day, if you're not going to get out to it, then it's all right. If you're gonna, you, might get, you might take a few blows, but you know, you've got, if your helmet's safe, then mm -hmm. you know, that's what you've got to do. Take the few blows and, and try and make them get, get tired from bowling those short balls. Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, with the technique I have, I do like, and I've just always been a favourite shot, the you know, cuts... You know, behind square, or if there's if there's a few behind square, then try and get it in front of square, or or if I have to, try and get it over over the over the backward point fielders. You don't want it to be too close to you. You want to have the width. So if you have the width, you, you can obviously extend your arms. Um, also, you you know, if you do have catching catches in the gully, then you want to be hitting on top of the ball, kind of like that, which make the ball go down and, and hopefully into the gap. Um, if you've you know. If you're on 50 yard and you feel feel safe and you'd rather go over, then you know you can still try and lean into it, but just get a bit more elevation. You can go over.
I'm not a big flasher outside off. You know, a lot of lefties, you know, play those big extravagant drives through offside. I'm not really like that. I'd rather just play, get on top of the ball and just punch it through the offside. Yeah. Um, I played one against at, at Trembridge off Ishan Sharma who's come around the wicket and he goes across. So it was quite late in the day and I, I punched and I thought, whoa, middle of that, that's, that was yeah. a good feeling. But, but um, yeah, like I said, it's, you, wanna, you obviously want to get your foot to the ball. You want to get your, your head and your front knee over, the, over your front foot and depending on how you want to play, but I'm more of a puncher, try and keep the elbow as high as possible and just lean into it. Probably... 80%? Right. Yeah, okay. top hand. Um, the, the bottom is just more of a, just to keep the bat kind of stable and not wobbly. So, yeah, it really is the, the top hand. And, you know, if, if you time it well, it's, if you time it well with, with quick hand speed, it's, it's, and you middle it, it's going to go, it's mm -hmm. going to go for four, you know. It doesn't have to be the huge um, flow of the bat. So, yeah, okay. it's, a lot of it is the, the top hand and, and trying not to open up the shoulder and get that, that bottom hand through it. I think you just allow it to unfold, you know, sometimes uh, you'll get, you'll get uh, more opportunities to score, you'll feel like that because you're in and you've seen the ball, you've seen the ball better, so you'll, you'll play shots that you wouldn't have played, you know, 25 runs ago, so like for me, like I said, I might, I might play a few more drives, I might, I might even um, play the pull, so yeah, yeah as, as your game goes on and, and, you know, the bowlers get a bit more tired, you know, the field gets a bit... They spread the field a bit. There's more chance to get singles. There's more chance to get twos. And, mm -hmm. and then you, you pick up on those bad balls quicker than you would earlier in your innings. And, and you find the gaps easier. So try to get outside off. And then try and get my hands, get my, change my grip, get my hands as high as I could. High as I could. And then obviously get as far forward, head close to the ball. And just really use my hand speed to get through the ball. When the fields are back, you want to clear them. So you think, oh, I've got to swing as hard as I can, yeah. And I mean, I, I do it, but that, yeah, the, the, it's the old cliche is, you know, try and keep your head as still and as close to the ball as you can and go, and go from, from down to up. And, you know, if, if you've got the hand speed, then you'll, you'll naturally clear the ropes.